Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos almost every single day. And today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the newest Skylar doll, the Fantastic Fashion Runway Collection Skylar doll. I'm really excited about this one. For some reason, even though I think this is probably one of the best in the set, she was not the one that stood out to me. But now that I have her in my hands, like when I saw her on store shelves, I was like, oh man she's next i have to get her so i'm really excited to do this review for you guys today and i think she looks absolutely beautiful and we'll also be comparing her to the other four skylar dolls that have released in the past and this is what she looks like in the packaging i really love the packaging for the fantastic fashion collection i think it's really really nice um and it looked so impressive on store shelves which is important and then as you can see she's a fashion design focus which is especially pertinent to this line and then on the back we can see rainbow high fantastic fashion and they look super good this is the last one of the ones that i like love that i don't have yet because the ones that i like loved were skylar sunny poppy and amaya and then the I, I like her and then these two i'm like i don't know but we'll see once i get them maybe my mind will change completely and here it says the this semester's project rainbow fashion competition is original innovative and totally fabulous and then on the bottom this is the barcode in case you're trying to find this doll in stores mine got really scratched up on the bottom and then that's the batch code for my doll if that is pertinent to you all right so let's get her out of the box so this is my first time getting to open one as they were intended to be unboxed because my other two were like smashed <laughs> um very simple unboxing experience it's a very nice box also and i think it would be really good to be able to reuse parts of it i'll show you in a bit uh, mine had a weird loose stand though i forgot to point that out in the actual video but i was having trouble as you can see skylar is out of the packaging and you guys she's so incredible oh my god before we get started on this review i wanted to show this really fast because i couldn't show this before but someone had asked it in my other videos where the for context my sunny and poppy which are the two that i've reviewed so far their packaging came smashed so i couldn't show this but someone had asked if you could reuse this as like a set piece for your dollhouse and i'd say so you just need to be careful unboxing it as you can see i ripped mine but the shelves are strong enough to hold things like they're pretty good so i would say yes you can reuse this so if that is pertinent knowledge to you there you go. <laughs> Alrighty. So now let's get started on the review. And then after we're done reviewing her first and second outfit, we will compare her to the other Skylar dolls. Mostly just looking at the makeup and how she's different because, you know, if they're expecting you to buy a fifth of a character, she better be different enough to warrant that. Um, so starting off, as always, with her face. I'm so, so impressed with her face. This reminds me of how impressed I was with the sunny doll from the two packs phase which funny enough with poppy and sunny which if you want to see my reviews of runway poppy and sunny i will link them in the description i felt kind of the opposite of how i feel with skylar i felt like the faces were kind of a step backward like they felt like older rainbow high faces in a bad way they didn't feel like like more updated but i feel like this skylar really does feel more updated i feel like she looks so oh my god look at the half profile i'm gonna die oh she's so beautiful oh my god so I don't know what it is because it's not like it's super different from before or anything, but it's just that the designers have figured out how to do the makeup on the original face sculpt and just make it look so, so pretty. Look at her. And she has kind of an indigo makeup color, which I feel like they haven't really done before. So like this purpley color, so gorgeous. And then there's a white with blue glitter over it, if you can see that. It's really pretty so so gorgeous and i love her with these straight eyebrows we've actually never gotten that for a skylar double before and i really think it makes a huge difference and i love the way they have that dark color here with the light color above it it's just absolutely gorgeous and then her lips are a very interesting like magenta almost like very very pretty again a pretty different color for skylar pretty pink and i think it looks super good and i think that the runway collection have shinier skin on their faces as a callback to the original rainbow high dolls which you'll see when i show you my original skylar they were quite a bit more shiny than most rainbow high dolls are and then her hair so my skylar has quite a bit of product in her hair um, at the top but at the bottoms i was pretty impressed that it's not super full of product but that's why it looks like greasy at the top that's what that is so um first she has curly hair in ringlets and it's super super pretty and mostly product free other than in the front where it shows in the packaging more it's actually basically product free if you get this doll and you want to fix how it looks by the way soak her with warm water get conditioner put conditioner in the hair and then brush it with a metal brush and it should keep its style perfectly fine. 
Um, and the reason I say that is because if you go in with the comb that's provided, she might lose quite a bit of her curl. You see that's already like not like it was, but if you get it wet, it should keep its style a lot better. And the reason I don't do that before I film these videos, by the way, is because I want to show you the product as you will receive it generally and not like pretty it up to look better on camera. So... Um, and Skylar has three beautiful colors of blue in her hair. I think it's three. So there's kind of a teal color. There's a lighter teal color. It's almost white. And then, oh, maybe there's four. I don't know. And then like a darker blue. I love Skylar's hair blend. I think it's so, so pretty. Uh, but it's interesting because it seems like her actual color scheme is just jeans. She generally just has denim going on, which I love. And she has a pretty intense side part with a lot of that light blue color on the top which generally she doesn't have a lot of the light blue, so it makes the Skylar actually stand out quite a bit, which I really appreciate. I wish that they did this more for when they repeated characters that they would change the hair color a little bit. I feel like it would add quite a bit, and yeah. All right, moving down, we can take a look at her dress. And yes, I am seeing that on camera, this looks like a complete skin tone mismatch. I can tell a little bit in person, but it's mostly on camera, I promise. Like, it's not really bothering me in person, but um, maybe that's something to look out for in stores if you can. Um, also, mine, for some reason, has a really loose hand. It's not loose enough that it's really bothering me, but that's kind of interesting. I assume that's just some kind of defect and it shouldn't affect yours, but, uh, you know, I thought I would point it out. And I also forget to point this out in Rainbow High Reviews now just because it's so standard, but it's actually really amazing. Like, other doll brands do not do anything like this, so I think it's super cool. They have painted nails, and this one is actually one of the best paint jobs I've ever seen on the nails, which is very refreshing. And they're longer nails, and I love that they're painted on the inside too. Like, that's really cool. So, on the other hand, just really well painted. There's only a little bit of misprint on this hand, so that's pretty impressive. And, oh, as usual, I always forget to say this, but she comes with a comb and a stand, so in the original Skylar colors. All right, now for this dress, which is so, so pretty. So we're gonna take her off the stand just so we can get a better look at the dress itself. So the dress is all one darker color of denim, but it kind of plays with dimension by having the kind of back show. But because this is actually like a doll gray denim material and not just printed, it really looks like the back of denim, which looks super cool. And I love the way they did this ruffle so that you would have that like change in the texture a little bit show there. It's really, really beautiful. And then I'm just checking, oh, the belt is not a separate piece. Well, it is a separate piece, but they sewed it on in the back. That's actually quite surprising. Normally Rainbow High doesn't do that, but um, that's no big deal to me. It would be nice if you could remove it, but not too big of a deal. So this dress is very, very, very pretty. I really, really like it. Um, but I'll get to this later, but it kind of just feels like this is a doll of Skylar trying on her runway dress, not literally the runway Skylar doll. So, um, and I've kind of felt that way with every single one, unfortunately, um, but we'll get there. I also forgot to show you her hair accessories, so we will move back up there after we finish looking at the dress. So anyway, the belt looks like this. It looks like it has a little knot to make this little piece come down because this is the extra that would have come out this side. I mean, no, it's the extra that would have come out this side, but they've knotted it to make it lay down. I really like this. I think it's cute. It doesn't look like it's finished at the end, so mine has a little bit of a fray, but I think it's not going to fray anymore. I'm not worried about it. And the stitching, there's a lot of decorative stitching and a lot of construction stitching, and it's all done in this color that, like, most jeans have for some reason, this, like, brown thread. And there's a bit of messiness up top. I can trim that just fine, but if that's something that bothers you, I'm just pointing it out in case that bothers you. And then there's a ton of rhinestones all over this dress, which I was very impressed with the amount of rhinestones on Poppy, and this dress is the same, where there's actually a ton on the back too, which is something I never, ever, ever expect, and I don't even mind. If you can, if you don't continue, like, anything onto the back, that bothers me, but if you don't continue rhinestones onto the back, I don't really care, like, that's fine, but when they do continue them onto the back, it's just really, really, really cool, because having a doll that displays well front and back is highly unusual, and I really appreciate it. She is standing on her own right now. Would you look at that? I'm so proud of you, Skylar. <laughs> okay, so it's hard to describe this dress because there's a lot going on, but you have one piece of denim here, so these are decorative stitches, and you've got a ton of rhinestones all over in between these, just all over the place, really, really pretty, and some of these are rhinestones and some of these are little brads, so these are rhinestones and these are brads, but it's really hard to tell, actually. Um, so the brads, I think, are meant to be between the little lines because there's some here, too. And then this is a smaller piece that is meant to look like it's underneath that, but it's kind of just sewn together, just like you can see there, just sewn together. And it's got the rhinestones and brads too. And all of those continue onto the back where 
the back doesn't have as much to describe right like it's just the same on both sides but it looks really really nice there's even a what i think is a decorative stitch in the belt loops which is pretty impressive and by the way these are real belt loops like this is a real belt running through so it's very weird that they decided to sew it here at the velcro on the back i don't know why they did that and then these are real working pockets i would like to demonstrate that to you okay i was gonna use my scissors but we can just use this pencil real working pockets awesome and they have decorative little X's through them. I love the little red tag. Is that supposed to be like Levi's? That's like really cute and just so much attention to detail. And the back is a lot simpler, but it still has so much going on. Like just tons of rhinestones down the back of the maxi skirt. And then you can see this isn't a case where that's not continuing. It's supposed to look like that's just on this side. That's part of the design. And then this part's pretty ruffled up from packaging. But um, if you like steamed that, it would be just fine. Oh, look, a little pocket and... I can tell it's a real pocket, but there you go. A real working pocket on the bottom of a maxi skirt dress thing. That is amazing. <laughs> wow. All right. So that's the top and back. And then from here, you have a little piece that's gathered and then it goes over on itself multiple times until it meets this piece. <laughs> it's so hard to describe this. And also look, the rhinestones are all over this, like including where you cannot see them at all amazing and then under there too you can see rhinestones and this is where that rhinestone line that ends at the back starts and this is a i was about to say that's a faux pocket no way that's a real pocket right there <laughs> wow okay i bet there's one on this side too is that also a real working pocket there's no way there's like actually no way like wow <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that is amazing. And then the bottom is overall more tame, but I love the way it opens here. See, you can show the pretty shoes that come with a pretty dress without having it be a cursed high-low dress. See, you can just have a slit in it. And the shoes are overall very simple, but I love the color. They're like a deep blue, very, very pretty, and it says RH. They're very simple for rainbow high shoes, and I really like them. I think they go really, really well with this dress. And I think they'll go really well with the second outfit, too, because these dolls only come with one pair of shoes, despite having two outfits. And yeah, so that's it for the dress. It's hard to describe a lot of the elements of the dress that make it so special, but like, just look at this. There's so much going on. It's amazing. I really, really love it. And then, of course, we have the hair clips that I left out earlier. My bad. I'm so glad Skylar comes with hair clips. They are super cute. So she comes with four of them. And all of them have, like, a slight holographic, like, iridescence to them. It's really pretty. And painted pearls on most of them. There's also painted, like, metal spots on a lot of them. And then, also, these hair clips are just slide in. But because there's so much gel in her hair right now up top, they don't want to slide out. But, Yeah really cool. You can't really see them from the front, only a little bit, so I'm actually really impressed there's so many, and I think they look really good. Before we switch her into her second outfit, let's take a look at her extra accessories. So she comes with a portfolio, which is most pertinent to her, because I feel like in the episode, maybe I'm wrong, but didn't Skylar design like all of their dresses, but all of them come with a portfolio implying they did? It's fine. It's for fun. It's for play. So it's supposed to look spiral bound, but it's not actually spiral bound, and it says rainbow high in gold like metallic paint. And then here are all the different designs that Skylar was working on for her dress. So it looks like she went with this one. So pretty. I'm glad she went with this one in this case. Um, and I just love that they include this. It's so cute. So, so cute. And then the back has nothing going on. And it also comes with a little pencil that matches. It doesn't like super look like a pencil or anything, but I appreciate it. And it has a little ring so the dolls can actually hold it over there it like holds onto their finger and of course the comb which i mentioned earlier this bag perplexes me a bit because it's so fantastic but i thought it would open i don't know does it i can't tell and i don't want to hurt it because it looks like it would open here but it also seems like it doesn't actually open confused by it it's just so like tight against itself like okay you can i think I think it's intended to open, but it's just like, it doesn't. But anyway, it is really cute. So it's triangular. There is a, oh, I thought it was a pocket, but no, it's just another triangle. And there's a little RH emblem. And then there's also R here. And an H here. And I thought there was another R, but I don't think so. So that's the R and that's the H. And then here it says rainbow on the ribbon, which I think is super cool. And there's also this little like buckle thing i don't know 
<laughs> I don't really know what this is referencing. And then it's made out of a really nice pleather material and it's very dense. Like you'd think it's not sewn. You'd think it's just a plastic accessory because it is so dense, but no, it is like a fully sewn accessory. It just seems like there's something inside to keep its shape, but it's super nice. It looks gorgeous. I'm excited for her to wear this. And then she has her second outfit, which is a dress. And this one has two different washes. So you have like the darker and the kind of regular jean look. And you've got like the little butt tag that a lot of jeans have. And of course the little red pocket tag. And this is a really nice piece with a lot of decorative stitching. I love the real belt loops here. Mine has a lot of extra threads, but again, that's not something that bothers me because I can just cut them right off. Um, yeah, see that got stuck in two spots. There we go. And then um, the, the closure of this dress is really interesting. Like what is that? I think it's sleeveless and the I don't know we'll find out I don't know how this fits but this is really really cute and I'm excited so let's put it on her I think Skylar's changing my mind on the whole fantastic fashion line look at this doll this dress could have been like her signature look like it's better than both of the outfits the first doll came with it's so cute so I forgot to point this out earlier but these are working pockets by the way and working belt loops up top too see like She's so good. And then her purse I'm confused by, so I don't really know what this thing is and I can't move it, but because of it, I can't really put it on her shoulder. Like it gets in the way a little bit. So if I put it here, like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So I'm putting it down here on her elbow, but I love that it comes with a purse. Like this feels like a fully realized release doll right here. And this is supposed to be like the inferior outfit. Like she also comes with like an unbelievably high quality, amazing outfit. Like look at the quality of this outfit. It's amazing. And this outfit's just as high quality, but it's it's just not a ball gown with rhinestones, you know? But like, wow. I don't even want to put the ball gown back on her. Like, this is glorious. This is going to be my new main display Skylar. I mean, wow. This is beyond beautiful. This dress is awesome. Like, this, this second outfit is amazing. Yeah, so Skylar's kind of single-handedly changed my mind on the runway collection. I still have the same complaint, though. Um, she needed jewelry. With this dress, it really feels like she's missing something. And I feel like the hair clips don't really go with this outfit. They don't really go with this outfit either, but they look fine. Like, they're not distracting. But I think she needed, like, I don't know, a choker, a bracelet, something. But she does come with a purse, so I can forgive the lack of, like, jewelry and stuff. Because the purse is, like, a really cool inclusion. Like, this is awesome. Skylar got a weird amount of budget this series, and I'm so glad that she did. And I'm pretty sure she's getting another runway doll, by the way. She's getting, like, a playset doll, so I'm really excited to see what that one's about. Finally, some love for Skylar. Okay, now it's time for a quick comparison. I'm not going to go through and be like, this outfit has a crop top while this one is this. Like, no, I'm just going to show you the faces. So I'll put her here. So this is our newest Skylar, our fantastic fashion Skylar right here. And then on the left or here, whatever side that is for you, I'll be putting the other Skylar dolls. So let's see. So this is the first Skylar. This is series one first release. So she might look different from yours if you do have a series one Skylar. She is possibly different, but... Um, as you can see, quite different. The skin tone, by the way, this doll has a like pretty different skin tone than most other Skylar dolls. The first release Rainbow High dolls are a little weird. Very different makeup. Very, very different. I definitely prefer the makeup on her. I just feel like they really figured out how to do Rainbow High faces later on. But I will say I really liked the makeup on Series 1 Skylar. Like, I think she still holds up to this day. Uh, but yeah, so there's those two. And then, so that doll came out in 2020. And then this doll came out at the end of 2020. This is Cheer Skylar. Cheer Skylar is kind of rough. Like, I don't, they they really experimented with the makeup in Cheer, which I appreciated, but it did not really pay off for poor Skylar. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's the, the shape of it is a little strange, but anyway, there they are. That lip color is like really red here. It's very pretty. Um, all right. God, the eyebrows, like this just looks so like stamped and artificial, but then this just looks so realistic and pretty. And then in, like, I think July of 2021, we had Winter Break. And Winter Break Skylar also has the ringlet hair, but it's a little bit different on the newer one, you can see. So first of all, there's way more of the light blue in this hair. And then this one just has way more ringlets. Like, I feel like the ringlets start up top, whereas with this one, it feels like they aren't as curly until the bottom of the hair. And both of mine need a hair wash. <laughs> I washed all the, I don't think there was a lot of gel in this doll's hair, but I washed it all out and then I've moved a few times. So she needs to have a little update for her. And Winter Break Skylar is my current favorite Skylar. I mean, this one beat her already, but this was my like current favorite. But yeah, I thought their lip colors were actually decently close, but no, they're not at all. Like from memory, I don't know, but this one's pretty purple toned. So yeah. 
And then we have Junior High, which I'm gonna have to pop her up a little bit. Junior High has a different face sculpt, but uh, that's what Junior High looks like compared to her. Not super worth mentioning, but I thought I'd bring her over anyway. And yeah, so now final thoughts time. I kind of already said them, but I have to say that compared to the other two runway dolls that I've reviewed so far, again, Poppy and Sunny, I'm very impressed. With Poppy, I was pretty neutral on a lot of the complaints, but I still like held those beliefs. I was just like fine with it. But with Sunny, I felt like her face was really boring. I felt like she really needed new stuff. Her dress was awesome, but that was about it. And Sunny's second outfit was just lame. It was recolors of original Rainbow High pieces, which is fine. But when Poppy and Skylar have both come with all new outfits that are really interesting and different, I'm really bummed that Sunny's was so boring. I don't know what happened with Sunny. Her dress is really cool, but that's about it. Her hairstyle was cool too. I'll give her that. But, and then with Poppy, I was like, she's so good, but she still feels like she's missing something. I feel like all of these dolls, even Skylar kind of feel like they're just trying on their runway outfits. Like this isn't their final runway because I think they desperately needed accessories and easily they could have had one of the characters design accessories for them and they just kind of chose not to. I don't know. Because again, I'm not expecting like something super mind blowing, but one necklace could have fixed this whole thing. And I can do that myself. I'm just saying like as as a reviewer, I'm not saying like, I'm not reviewing them based on like, oh, I could just add a necklace. Like, yeah, of course I could just add a necklace and I'm going to, but I'm reviewing like as the doll comes. And I feel like they're just missing something to make the designs like truly elevated, but the dresses are just so phenomenal. So I, I'm overall very happy. And with Skylar, I feel like this is the best so far. I'm really, really impressed. Maybe Sunny and Poppy were just kind of flukes. Poppy's face was fine, but Sunny's face was pretty boring, especially coming off of the Sunny and Luna 2-pack. Uh, I was very disappointed with Sunny's face. But um, Skylar looks really, really good, and Poppy looked pretty good. Poppy looked Poppy looked like a Rainbow High doll. Skylar looks, like, really, really good. And when I say that, I mean, like, any other Rainbow High doll. Like, she doesn't have something super special going on. But I feel like of all the Skylars, this face is just amazing which is what should be the case with these because how many times have we seen the series one character so far at least four per character right so i'm really glad that we are seeing like an updated look with some of them i don't know why that's not the case with others but at least with skylar this is amazing she looks fantastic so if i had to recommend you one of these dolls out of the three i've reviewed so far it would be skylar and that's saying something because you guys know i love butterflies but i had to make fairy wings for poppy to make her feel like complete and display worthy for me so that's kind of a like a large barrier there uh but with Skylar like first outfit or second outfit absolutely flawless I'm extremely impressed with her she is awesome and this is definitely making me more excited to go get Amaya because I'm, I'm being kind of slow on these uh Fantastic Fashions dolls for whatever reason I was pretty excited about them but I don't know. My excitement got a bit steamrolled. I, I still really like them, but I was like, I don't really need to go like grab these immediately. Like I'll, I can wait, but wow, Skylar has impressed me. So um, if you see another review of one of these, it'll either be Violet because I already have her. I just haven't opened her or it'll be Amaya because Amaya looked really good on store shelves and I'm very, very tempted to get her. And well, well let's wrap it up there. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'd love to know if you guys have any of these dolls yet. What do you think? Which one's your favorite? Like what's going on? Uh, or if you've just been watching reviews, like, which one do you think really, really stands out? But don't tell me why, because I, I want to be surprised when I get them. Like, if it's one that I don't already have. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Skylar is superior. I am very impressed. I knew I would like her because I just think her dress is exquisite. But I thought that it was going to be kind of boring because it's just like, yeah, it's another denim look. But wow, it's not just another denim look. It's fantastic. And yeah. All right. For all this time, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.